Hi, my name's Trevor. In my job as a physiotherapist, I regularly tell people to get 30 minutes of activity a day. But over and above that, if you're sitting for long periods throughout your day, it really can have a negative impact on your general health and well-being. So it doesn't mean you have to go up and, and get 30 minutes every couple of hours. We can really introduce some practical tips throughout your day that are easy and simple to implement to get you out of your chair. Uh, an idea might be to get up and speak to a colleague rather than sending them an email. Secondly, you might uh, call a meeting and you could take a, a walking or a standing meeting, uh, maybe going down to the local park near your workplace. Or thirdly, uh, you could take a phone call. Take a phone call um, and get up out of your chair and actually walk around the office while you're speaking on the phone. Those are three really practical tips that you can introduce straight away into your workday to really make it more uh, healthy uh, and introduce some really uh, practical tips into that. Uh, the other thing you could do is just trying these three really simple exercises that will really help you to get moving and up out of your chair and really stretching three essential areas uh, in your body that might get tight from being bound to a desk for long periods. So what you need to do is get up out of your chair you don't need much room for this. You can see here, my workplace, there isn't a lot of room, but this is plenty room to actually get these three exercises in. The first thing we'll do is actually try to open up this thoracic region, which is the mid-back, uh, which can often get tight and bound down from sitting uh, and really be the cause of a lot of lower back issues and cervical or neck issues. You could use your chair as a prop. Take maybe two steps back away from your chair. Have your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart and you can adopt a toe out position if that makes it more comfortable. What you want to do there is just to drop your hips away. If you're tight in the hamstrings, it really helps to take a soft approach with the knees or to bend the knees. And then what we're going to do there is draw the hips away common thing that you might find there is that your back stays quite rounded. Now we don't want this position here but what you can try to do is bend a bit more into the knees, maybe bring the toes out a little bit further and then draw the hips away and we want to tilt the pelvis back like so. So we don't want a rounded spine in that position but we want a nice curved spine like so and we drop the hips and open the chin if that's too much there, you can always keep your head in a neutral position, but still really focus on stretching through this area in your back and watch that your back and your shoulders aren't rounded. So trying to open, if you're able to, here. You come back to standing position and repeat. And you'll feel a nice stretch through the middle of your back, maybe a little bit into the front of the chest and the shoulders, uh, which is totally fine and that's what you'd expect to feel. You can do this as continuous reps, so maybe six to eight. Obviously try to keep breathing through the exercise, not hold your breath. And you should feel that stretching out and getting a little bit easier each time you do it. So that's the thoracic stretch, uh, the first one that you can do. The second stretch I'll show you is to actually release front of your hips and the muscles in the groin region. So if we look at this front on, all I'm going to do is shift my weight side to side, bending the knees. Hands don't have to be at the hips, you could have them by your side. But if you want to have your hands somewhere, you can have them at your hips. And then once I go here, I'm going to dip my hip down shift and dip. The idea here is that I'm going to push with my hand and actually create a stretch in my adductor or the groin of my left side there and vice versa, dipping the other side with my hip. Watch that I'm not rounding through my spine. Keep a nice straight back as I do that. Once again, you could use your chair as a prop. Feet are actually a bit wider than shoulder width almost double shoulder width apart. You can bring them closer together if you need to. So I shift and dip. Shift and dip, watching that I'm not collapsing through my spine, keeping up nice and tall if you're able to. 
If you find that you're really tight in the hips and into the groin, you can always regress that movement by making it smaller. So it can be just a simple movement here. It's very important in the spine that you're not, once again, dipping through here. We want to tuck through and keep a neutral spine or a spine that stays reasonably straight through that exercise. So once again, hands propped up, shift, shift, and dip as far as you feel comfortable to. Once again, we're gonna go for about six or eight reps, and that will really start to help open up the hips, uh, which are often just bound in our chair for long periods throughout the day. That's exercise number two. And the third exercise you can try is just to use a wall. So if you've got a wall uh, that's easily accessible, and we're gonna stretch out the front of the chest. So facing the wall, we'll have one hand high. The same time here, I don't want my shoulder coming up towards my ear. I want to bring my shoulder blade down, have my hand as high as is comfortable, come close to the wall, and then I turn away from my hand. If I do it on this side, so my hand or non-stretching side is low, my stretching side, in this case my left hand, is high. I watch that my shoulder blade is nice and low, and I turn away, and I bring my cheek to the wall. What you want to feel there, if I turn away, is a nice stretch through maybe the bicep and into the front of the chest as you do that stretch. Only go as far as you start to feel the stretch. You don't want to feel any pain or excessive discomfort in that. Uh, and this one you can hold uh, just for a few seconds is sufficient, uh, maybe up to 10 seconds. Uh, so it might look like this. Uh, Non-stretching side low, stretching side high. One, one, two, three, four, five, and switch. One, two, three, four, five. You could also try different angles of your hand. So we're all a little different and we will have different areas of tightness in the front of our chest and shoulders. So you might have your hand lower down and get a better stretch there. You might have your hands below shoulder height and get a better stretch there. So I've was demonstrate on this side here or even here. And again, up and away. So again, only go as far as you feel a stretch through here. If you're feeling a bit of a stretch through into the fingers, that might actually be the nerves stretching. So do be careful with that. You don't want to feel too much of a tingling feeling or pins and needles in the hand when you do that. So just do be careful if you are feeling that with your hands high, just to bring your hands a bit lower when you do that stretch. So just to recap, the first stretch we did uh, was stretching out the thoracic spine in the middle of the back using the chair as a prop. The second stretch was once again using the chair as a prop and stretching into the groin sideways. And thirdly, we use the wall to stretch out the chest. So just adding those three simple exercises throughout your day can really help to stretch some key areas in your body. Uh, once again, if you liked what you saw today, please have a look uh, at some of the websites listed below. Uh, thanks for watching.